After seeing the Apple event last week, I've been super excited to get back into the Google news cycle and like perfect timing, the Android 14 beta 3 update was just released for Pixel devices and as soon as it came out, I installed it on my Pixel 7. Me and the team at 9to5 Google have been digging through the update, just looking for as many changes as we can possibly spot. So let's take a quick look here at all the new things that come with the Android 14 beta 3 update. And just getting right into it, the biggest and most impressive improvement in beta 3 is without a doubt lock screen customization. And I have to say, Android has been sorely needing this for a long time, and I'm quite surprised that it hasn't come much, much sooner. Google's implementation is pretty good for a first iteration, and to access it, you go to the wallpaper section in the settings, or you can long press the lock screen to pull up the customization menu. From there, you can choose from a selection of different clock styles, some we've seen before, and some are completely unique, but they all look great. My true desire is that they open up this interface for third-party support because the possibilities would be endless at that point and I would love to see what developers do with this. Either way, in this new lock screen interface, you can choose from a handful of different accent colors, wallpapers, and you can even change the options for shortcuts that appear on your lock screen. The lock screen shortcuts are also something new with Beta 3. Everything looks good, but something that I find a little off is that you have to long press the shortcut to activate, but otherwise this is a pretty great addition and I'm happy to see it. Right now you have a pretty decent selection of shortcuts to choose from, like toggling the flashlight, do not disturb, the camera, Google Wallet, etc. And I hope this list grows over time. All of these changes also work with always on display. And something I noticed was always on display positions the clock slightly differently when you have notifications versus when you don't. Not to mention there are some subtle animations with the new clock widget when you wake the phone from always on display. Overall, that's the biggest change that we see with Android 14 beta 3. There's some more that we're gonna talk about, but as for huge sweeping changes, lock screen custom customization is finally here and I cannot wait to see how it grows in the future. As for the rest of the changes, we just have some minor UI tweaks. For starters, we get a new animation in the status bar on the battery icon when you're charging your phone. We get an entirely new tutorial for gesture animations, which looks great and is awesome to help new users get adjusted to the Pixel experience. We also see that Google tweaked the colors throughout the entire system UI. So themed icons, for example, appear to use brighter color tones. Same with the general use toggles throughout the operating system. They also appear slightly brighter as well. The screenshot preview interface also got a super tiny tweak that wraps rounds out the share and edit icons. And with beta three, there's a small change where scrolling down on the notification shade and tapping on the time will open up the clock app. And finally, there's one more super, super minor change here where Google changed the verbiage in the settings for a feature. So previously it used to say touch sounds. Now it says tap and click sounds. This just turns off the sounds when you're interacting with the operating system. It's nothing crazy, but I thought I should just mention that the verbiage changed. Which brings me to the point of, should you install this beta? Of course, I'd be cautiously optimistic, but it's way too early to tell at this time. If I were you, I'd probably wait about a week or two just to see how the community gets used to it and see what the community comes up with. Especially if this is gonna be your main device, you should not put yourself in a tough situation. If you're wondering, my Pixel 7 so far is fine. It's only been less than 24 hours, but in terms of performance or battery, everything seems to be working business as usual from a surface level perspective. Something I do notice are just UI bugs, but as for overall stability, only time will tell. At the end of the day, Beta 3 is actually a huge step in the right direction. I'm a huge fan of the lock screen customization. And as I said earlier, if Google can open that up to third-party developers, I can just see that feature exploding in the Android world. The Android community is just super creative and they can come up with stuff that we've never thought about. So if Google opens this up for third-party developers, I think this feature is an immediate win. So let's hope for third-party developer support. And other than that, guys, let me know, was this beta everything you were expecting? expecting it to be? And are you enjoying the new lock screen features? And most importantly, how is stability on your devices? Leave a comment just because we're all Pixel fans. We're a Pixel community just trying to conquer the beta together. So please leave a comment. Let us know what your experience is like with the beta. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much everything that I have to share about beta three so far. If anything else updates, I'll certainly let you know. But in the meantime, leave some comments. Let me know what your experience is like. And other than that, I'm getting out of here, guys. So thank you so much for watching. This is Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google, and I will see you in the next one.